Care to test your skin or uh, let the witch can claim the soul on her too. Interesting.
over. The emissary is somewhere here. Perhaps I can find the letter without bloodshed. The Bard said paladins trained at this fortress. This will not be an easy fight. Alright, alright! Well, you'll have to get down somehow. Can you see a haystack or something? Someone is stuck. My brother, chasing some foolish legend that if you see old Hisser from above and catch his tail, he will grant you a wish. And what of your leg? Likely sprained, trying to climb up to rescue him. <laughs> we are a sorry pair. Hey, no. Egi got. down, but I was a big strong Norse like yourself afraid of heights. And snakes! I don't know how I let my brother talk me into these schemes. I think I just give in to his endless golding, but I'm sick to the back teeth of him. Climb up on it, go in that cave of wolves on it, eat that red mushroom. Siblings are a source of great joy and equal misery. I too have a brother. Does yours put you in the maw of death every opportunity he gets? Come, let's get you down. And perhaps you can tell him how you feel. Talk of my feelings to my brother? I would rather let the snakes gnaw on my tender parts. This way? It's too high to get down from here. There, the ladder. Watch your step. Bringing this waste of breath back to me. You're welcome. But what is the story you spoke of? Old Hisser? A pretty legend. He who catches Old Hisser's tail will find her heart's wish granted. I found such a story in a manuscript up in the tower. Then may it bring you more luck than it did us. Maybe you will even solve the serpent's mystery. Farewell. May Odin litter your path with riches. Goodbye. Keep each other safe, for a good brother is the truest treasure from the gods. Now see, you big lump. All that wailing, it was as easy as a hop and a jump. <laughs> Keep that up, and I'll leave you here for the wolves. <laughs> oh, no. Look at your legs. Is it truly broken? No, strength <laughs> is all. All. But I'd like to see you get by without me. Couldn't even climb down a ladder without mewing like a newborn.
Aid me. Be my eyes. the letter without killing the emissary. It'll keep me out of trouble. <laughs> Alfred's chosen elderman is a thing called Tetment. The Abbot Kinnebert would want to know. I should meet Bassem and the Abbot in Fulkenston.
What happened, little one? Mummy's ring! I just took it out to look at it, and a mean bird snatched them off me. What were you doing with your mother's ring? Someone borrowed it, and she asked me to get it back. But now it's up in that tree, and I can't climb that! There is the bird's nest. Are you the girl's mother? Stepmother. My husband gave me that ring. My stepdaughter stole it from me. She's been a plague to me ever since I married her father. When all I've tried to show her is kindness. She says you borrowed it from her mother. Her mother is dead. Oh, perhaps it did belong to her once. I didn't know. Your new husband gave you his dead wife's ring. We don't have much. I will not spurn a gift from a good heart. He's a fine man, and I love him, dear. But his daughter will never love me. Not while she still pretends her mother's alive. Let the girl have the ring. It is all she has of her mother. Do this, and new bonds may grow between you in time. You are wise, stranger. It is hard to give it up, but it belongs to her more rightfully than I. Take it to her, please. I have your mother's ring. Be careful in future. We should hold tight to what is precious. I saw you talking to my stepmother down there. Did she try to take it off you? What a warty old dragon. She agreed that you should have it. 
Be kind to her, little girl. She's trying her best for you. I suppose. I'll speak to Mother about it. Farewell, then. Send on here, man of food. If the bees bother you, boy, maybe do not stand so close to their hive. But I need honey. Just a little. It's for my friend. It's all she likes to eat. My friend loves honey. She has a very sweet tooth. I've tried poking hmm? it with a stick, but it riots them up something chronic. You got the honey? Oh, thank you. Oh, that looks delicious. Leave it on that rock and she'll be right along. <laughs> Come sit and wait with me. She'll be here soon. Winifred looked after me ever since mother and father died. She's my best friend. The other children tease me. Sometimes they throw stones to shoo me away and call me the grubby watcher in the woods. Winifred saved my life. I was curled up on the grass praying that God would take me too. And she scared the wolves away. There you are, Winifred! I got you honey! Winifred, my bestest of bears. Any day spent with you is my favorite day. So today is my new favorite day. 
this kind stranger got you some honey. What do we say? Thank you. All that honey must have given you quite a thirst. Are you really all right out here on your own, little one? Silly. I'm not alone with the very best of bears by my side. Goodbye, and thank you. Come on, Winifred. Shall we walk to the lake? Maybe we can splash in the reeds. Strange fellowship. But then friendship can often be found in unexpected places.
said Ick Ford is not right, Mrs. Dale's manifested opportunity. Woo! <laughs> 
Who is that man talking to? Matilda. Pixie's the future. Loki's twisted threats. What trick is this? None. You drink, pig speaks. Kent is in disarray. How so? No one pig? Us. No hand upon the helm. Alfred will choose a new elder man. He already has. Yet we know nothing. And now, all trace of the edict is gone. Someone will step up to... What? <laughs> I, uh, I don't feel anything. Are you a talking pig? I, Matilda the Seer, lift the veil. Shall I show you what is to come, Raven? Beneath the sacred city where panthers prowl, you will find what stole the maiden's blush and begin the final journey. Men of the church, father. Serpent's tongue sets torches alight in the winter night, <sighs> seeking to end the first of the line. But I was in that room. It was powerful and mind-twisting. That pig. Where did you get such a surprising creature? Mark it. And is that all you have to say? Pig speaks enough for both of us. What are you saying? The red stuff! Oh, no. on your words, pig.
Good day. What is your name? I am Eivor, of the Raven Clan. And are you a flighter? When the mood strikes. Do you wish to flight with me? Oh, no, certainly not. I don't engage in such things. Haven't the head for it. My brother, however, he is quite proficient. Ah, then you wish to compete with me. I should mention, my brother has taken a strict vow of silence. If you wish to flight, I will translate and relay his verses. I think I understand. Good. Hark! To those gathered round, wave your hands and rejoice. I shall trounce this poor fool without use of my voice. Such is his challenge. Do you wish to face him? I'll happily challenge you. Sorry, him. Here you are, my bet. Good. Now remember, it is not me you are flighting. I am but a conduit for his words. I will keep this well in mind. Good. He is ready. Come you closer, friend Eivor, and lend me your ear. The most cutting of flights from my mouth you'll not hear. But by proxy I'll call you a milksop and boor. If this is your best, I've got nothing to fear. Your body is withered, your garments absurd. I'll topple you over with nary a word. I'm devoted to flights, though to silence avowed. Though you choose to be quiet, your folly is loud. Oh my! Your visage is ghastly. I'm cowed by your stink. I should like to write more, but you're not worth the ink. So, a last parting phrase. You're as dim as they come. You're a waste of good quiet. Go choke on your pen. Your pitiful flighting has left me quite cold. So leave here with speed once you've paid me your gold. You have bested me, but I will return. The failure Eivor returns. Will you compete again? Good. I'll good. 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 Your uh, I the oh, you I, I will easily crush you beneath my thumb. Your pitiful flights. You. If Dixa ad Eos Rapscale. The failure Eivor returns. Will you compete again? He go I'll go call them. Though you speak through another, your flighting still poor. Your body is withered, your garments absurd. Ah, uh, the oh, you I with the my brother has a few parting words. You have bested me squarely and thus won the day. So take what you've earned now and hurry away. I will. Farewell to you both. This is Dominus Nostra Sapiens.